Ah, the disengage action. In a world of sentinel and polar arm fighters, in a little thing called opportunity attacks, the disengage action serves a valuable role in the game of D&D. Welcome to Actions in Combat. As stated, when you take the disengage action, your movement does not provoke opportunity attacks for the rest of the turn. Simple in text, but large in importance. This is made better if you're a rogue or a monk who can use the disengage action as a bonus action, getting that benefit as a added bonus to whatever else they want to do in that turn. There are some other ways to gain the benefits of the disengage action without having to spend said action, like the Dragon Master Monk gets that benefit if they spend a key point for Flurry of Blows that turn, Vengeance Paladin with their reaction movement, speaking of which, pretty much any reaction movement has the benefit of not provoking opportunity attacks, among others. While attempting to escape combat without any life to spare, the disengage action makes sure you don't lose any more hit points due to opportunity attacks when escaping. If you are a wizard maintaining concentration on an important spell, the disengage action can provide a valuable resource to maybe not cast a spell this turn, but keep concentration on something that is more important, because getting hit could mean another con save, and failure for that means no more spell. Ways of getting the disengage benefit without spending full action make better use of the effect because it encourages movement around the battlefield. Pathfinder 2.0 does a pretty good job at this, giving some classes the benefit to move around without having to provoke opportunity attacks quite often to encourage that battlefield movement. The disengage action is a fairly common action that is used more often than other non-aggressive actions like the dash or dodge action. It is often better than the dash action or dodge action to get out of harm and move around the battlefield because unless absolutely necessary to dash, it can prevent damage and get you out of the battlefield. And in the terms of dodging, instead of staying and hoping that you don't get hit while dodging, it's better just to disengage and move out of the way to avoid getting hit. Also, if you are in a poor position, either offensively or defensively, such as being flanked by an opponent or wanting to move in a place where you're flanking an opponent, using the disengage action can be quite effective, allowing you to prevent being taken any more damage in that bad scenario to get into a good one. Also, if you're a ranged fighter or caster who is clo too close to the battlefield, just disengage and move out of the way. Or if you're being barraged by a ton of enemies, disengage and move out of the way, and let the caster rain fire on the area, leaving you out of the danger, and the opponents are no longer a threat. There are other ways to get both your action and the disengage action, such as using action surge to disengage and then attack, or under the effect of haste, using that special action to disengage without sacrificing much action economy, or Sorcerer who use Quicken spell to cast a spell as a bonus action and then disengaging as an action, if the situation requires. While only a single line of text, the disengage action is one of the better actions in the game, so make sure not to undervalue it. 